they're looking on the inside of Todd Souza. Souza slams the door. Here comes Stravinsky again. One more time. Drag racing down the front stretch. Not going to get it done. Meanwhile, Bernie Lamar's car is starting to pick up a little bit of a push. He had the lap car of Mike Ledbetter. 114 laps down, 11 laps to go. Mike Ledbetter making a move on the inside. Lamar's car is not looking out of the corner, pushing really bad. Sreminska Jr. looking back on the inside. Here they come, drag racing down. Sousa says no. Ten laps to go. You got Lamar leading. Here comes Straminska. The 19 of Eddie McKean rejoins the field. Lamar is starting to open up a little bit of a breather on with the lap car of Mike Ledbetter. Here comes Sousa down to the inside, followed by Straminska. He looks to the inside again. He's going to take the position going into turn number one. The 90 gets the position. Now he has clear sailing in front of him. Here comes Lamar, Straminska. Every car starting to push. 119 down, six laps to go. Can the 90 catch and pass Lamar? He had the lap car of Jim Tennant out in front. Here comes Lamar, five laps to go. You got Lamar, Straminska, Sousa, Bob Lyon, Doug McCown. Slowly but surely, Straminska starts to eat into Lamar's lead. Lap car of Jim Tennant starting to go play a factor. Lamar gets a little bit loose. Here comes Straminska. Straminska all over the back bumper of Lamar, looks to the inside, the two touch drag race down the back stretch. Here they go into turn number three. Straminska takes the lead, followed oh, by Lamar. White flag this time by, can he hold it on? What a show from the rear to the front. He's going to pick up the win, the number 90 of Ron Straminska Jr. Tony Lamar, Todd Sousa, Bob Ryan, Doug McCown. It's the Uncle Frank Chasserie Chevrolet driven by Ron Straminska Jr. Ron Stramiska Jr. wins his first ever Featherlight Southwest Series. A tribute to a family, a legacy of racing in this valley. Stramiska's. What a moment. What a moment. First time ever. First win for Ron Stromiska Jr. in the Featherlight Southwest Series. All the way from the back of the pack. All the way from the B-Main event. He'll be out in just a minute and he'll hear you. Let him give out, and then we'll <laughs> let him get. We'll let him have it. He now you he can hear you. He's out of the car. That's Ron Stramiska Jr. That's his dad right there. That's the Manteca Missile. Has two track championships out here as well. 
What a day, what a day for the Stramiska family. Well, we're going to get a few words from Ron Jr. as soon as we get our track announcer over there. Yeah, they're great. As soon as you're ready, Bruce, take it away. Hey, we got a free yeah. setting off for next. Clear on the front stretch with Ron. Wow, what an evening. Having a difficulty there in the B main and uh, finishing second after a rollover. And coming from the dead last. Coming out late after getting the car fixed. Man, did you have that thing hooked up. Wow, what do you have to say? Uh, first, I just want to thank the crew for getting the car back together and uh, everyone that helped in, all the guys, all the racers were there to offer help and uh, special thanks to Mike and Nate. Uh, we did some changes after the B-Main and they really paid off. Boy, did it ever. You looked awesome. You really looked good. We look forward to seeing you at Madera if you choose to run that next Southwest Tour race coming up and uh, you showed the boys that a local boy can still do it. Well, I hope so. but. We, uh, you know, luck was on our side. We missed a lot of wrecks out there. Yeah, you did, but you really drove good. I, I know your dad was your mentor growing up, and uh, he was uh, definitely the man to a missile for years, and uh, you're definitely taking over that. Well, if I can be half as good as he was, I'll be happy. Yeah, I agree. He was a great man, a great driver, and uh, what do you have to say for your son, Ron? Yeah, he did a good job tonight. Uh, I want to thank Uncle Frank, too, for helping us. Uh, he's a lot of help, and everybody else that helped us, so... Uh, I think we're doing a fabulous job tonight, and can't believe it, you know. Just too excited. Yeah, it's almost as good as winning yourself, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm a little more nervous now. <laughs> okay, great. Congratulations, Ron. And uh, we'll get a word in with uh, Bernie Lamar, our uh, second place driver. Hey, one thing too, Junior. Thanks for not rubbing all the paint and lettering off of that. I paint and letter that along with uh, Hot Lap Louie. Good job, Junior. We don't have to put any more paint and lettering on the car this week. And now, Bernie Lamar. Sorry about that, Bernie. Well, Bernie, you had an awesome run. You got out front there, and you looked great for uh, 100 laps or so. It looked like on lap 118, 119, something went away on it. Almost looked like you had a down tire on lap 120. I know you slowed up a lot in turn three and um, slid way up, and then uh, automatically you slowed down a little bit too, and Ron was able to reel you in, but you had a great car. And what do you have to say for the evening? Well, I mean, we were running good. Junior and the crew gave us a good car tonight. Uh, Car was fast. Uh, all of a sudden, he yeah, had lap lap a uh, hundred or something. The car uh, felt like we had a tire going down or some stagger problems. So we're gonna figure it out right now. We'll figure out what uh, what the problem was so we can go out to the next race and uh, try to try to stay in that position so we can win the, one of these races. Well, great. It's always great to see you run, Bernie. And uh, we thought you had it there, but you never can tell at these short tracks. Yeah, it just goes to show. You know, the the Southwest Series is such a competitive series. And uh, we're just happy to be here running up front, and uh, hopefully we can do it again next time. Great. Thank you very much, Bernie. Thanks, thanks Chris. Bernie Lamar, good to see Bernie back here at the Speedway. Always a good show when Bernie's here. Moving over to Todd Souza. Bruce, take it away. Well, Todd, you uh, ended up finishing third, and not a bad run at all for uh, the competition out there. I know you stayed up front most of the evening and then got, uh, got avoided some crashes there and uh, were able to still bring third place home. Yeah, you know, we were fortunate to be where we were. We got, we got spun early on coming off turn two and just uh, lucky enough to, to do a complete 360 and keep on going. So it, uh, we held our position. We lost a couple there and avoided the wrecks. And 90 came on strong there at the end and uh, tried to hold them off. But uh, we started getting loose coming off the turns. And, and uh, you know, so we're, we're definitely happy with it. But. Well, great. It's great to have you here at Stockton. and look forward to seeing you again next year here on the tour at Stockton. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you very much. Back to you, Wayne. Follows, let's start from the front to the back in the number 20 car. He's from Modesto. He's brought to you by Hotwood, giant discount tire. Legorio Communications, Cruz Lucas Body and Paint, Esco, 
Dr. Vandemark, Boleto Auto Glass, Pacifica Pizza, Air Gas, Team Alice Racing, Monogram Magic, The Bronze Body, Boleto Almonds, Paint by Greg Payne, and Motor by Earl, that's Jeff Boleto. The number five car, he's from Stockton. He's brought to you by JM, Seal Coat and Paving, Allen and Sons Construction, A1 Transmissions, Genova Bakery, Short Track Suspension, Acme Truck Parts. Special thanks to John and Stacy Medina. That's Pete Anderson, Jr. And the number 23 car, he's from Orangevale. Brought to you by G. Glenn Plastering, Waltz Motorsports, Lagorio Communications, Perry Race Cars, Victory Chevy, Linmore Fence, Regional Champion in the Grand American Modified Division. That's Mark Welch. In the number 87 car, he's from Delhi. Brought to you by Modesto Masonry, Transmissions by Hal, Oval Track Graphics, Fremont Automotive, The Rear End Shop, three championships to his credit, one in Grand Am, two right here at Stockton. That's Wes Miller. In the number 74 car, he's from Modesto, brought to you by Hotwood, Burko's Cafe, Lagorio Communications, Monogram Magic, Boleto's Auto Glass, Esco Cat Repair, Bob's Body Shop, Pacifica Pizza, All-American Powder Coating, Bob Pinella Motorsports, Transmissions by Hal, AG Signs, and the Bronze Body two-time track champion here at the Speedway in the late model division from Modesto, hard charging, Harry Boleto. In the number nine car, he's from San Jose. Has many, many, many championships to his credit. He's brought to you by Conti Material Service, Bob Grossi Construction Incorporated, Stock Car Fabrication, Valverde's Restaurant, Wayne and Linda Folletta, Brandon Tires, Action Floors, Ron Roach Signs, Gillette Motorsports, Cullum Concrete Pumping, and Once Upon a Child in Robin Hood Plaza, from San Jose, Dave Bird. From Orangevale, in the number 12 car, brought to you by Crystal Geyser, Alpine Spring Water, California Door and Frame, All-American Powder Coating, Penny Racing Supply, and Lewis Industrial Gases, that's Harold Reeker. In the number 29 car, he's from Valley Springs, brought to you by Bolin Builders and Roos Racing, that's Tracy Bolin. In the number 40 car, he's from Galt, brought to you by Premier Drywall, Olympic Tune, American Fabrication and Welding, Picasso's Paint, Davis and Son Roofing, DNS Construction, give it up for Ray Davis. In the zero car, he's brought to you by Short Track Suspension, Pilcher Farms, with special thanks to Dave Pilcher, Paws Automotive, and special thanks to Dad from Stockton in the zero car. That's the wild child. That's Jerry Crawford. In the number 38 car, he's from Manteca. He's brought to you by TP Ranch. Aunt Mary, Monogram Magic, Mana Ranch, Alan Yordi Motorsports, Dave Davis Racing Products, Grasso Carpet Cleaning, The Gas Depot, and Transmissions by Hal. Put your hands together for Joe Hilton. In the number 48 car, he's from Newark. Brought to you by Auto Glass Specialties. Swan Racing, once again, in the 48 car, that's Anthony Swan. In the number 75 car, all the way from Oakdale, California, give it up for Jim Earl. And from Clements, in the number seven car, brought to you by Napa Auto Parts and the Auto House in Lockford, Lodi Tire Service, Cherokee Auto Body, HP Engine, Wingham and Burnt, Dave Bender and the Canibal Crew, that's Johnny Burnt. In the zero two car, he's from Citrus Heights, put your hands together for Eddie Laws. In the number 76 car, don't have a complete sponsor list on it now, but I'll get back to you in a minute. It's been a while since he's been here. That's Barry Mitchell. In the number 18 car tonight from Lodi, Chris Monez. 
And in the 55 car, had a little trouble early on. Good to see him back out on the racetrack. Brought to you by Smith's Truck Repair, KNC Cleaning Service, Vincent's Quality Engine Rebuilders. From Modesto, Tony Smiths. Well, all right now, got Jeff Paletto on the pole and got Pete Anderson Jr. on the outside. Gates are locked, the lights are out. It's stock car racing time. and Jr. is taking no prisoners out in this main event. Tracy Bolin all over the right rear quarter panel of the 23 car Mark Welch. Pete Anderson Jr. in the number five car taking no prisoners in this Hotwood main event. kids out there that want souvenirs, there's probably going to be a lot of it out there. Don't take them off the cars, however. And if it's a big piece, ask the body guy if he wants it back. But do go down afterwards and talk to the drivers and just get their take on it. Shake your hand and tell them they enjoyed the race. And I, unless I miss my guests, they'll tell you thanks for coming. This is how this thing works partnership like I talked about earlier. On the pole in the 12 car, Harold Reeker. Car Anthony Swan loops it coming off a of four, bringing out a yellow flag on the sixth lap of this Hotwood Western Late Model main event. It looks like Hot Lap Louie got his truck back. There goes stock car racing with Harold Reeker on the pole.
Crawford spins the wild thing off of turn four. Jerry Crawford spins wild thing, the number zero car off of turn four, rounds off the right front corner of the 20 car of Jeff Boletto. Yellow flag flies on lap number 12. As the finish line, trophy and sign pace truck picks up the field. Looking for a good clean start across the stripe. Miller spins in turn two. Wes Miller with what looked to be an unassisted spin and turns one and two brings out a caution flag on lap number 20. I want to see the end of this, but also I can't wait for the pure stock race. Ken Radcliffe's on the pole, and I want to see if he can maintain that position throughout the whole main event of the pure stock main coming up shortly. And now it's racing time once again. They're going to pick up the long skinny pedal on the right-hand side. Jerry Crawford putting on a spark show out there. Sparks flying all over the racetrack from the zero car, the wild child, and the wild thing.
a checkered flag and your winner in the number 12 car, that's Harold Reeker. In second place from Modesto, the 74 car hard charging Harry Boletto. In third place from San Jose, the number nine car, Dave Bird. And in fourth place, the number 29 car from Valley Springs, Tracy Bolin. Not Orangeville, Roseville. Says Orangeville on my paperwork. However, Harold Reeker is from Roseville. He'll be out of the car in just a minute. Yeah. We've got our trackside reporter down there, going to get a word from Harold as soon as he gets out of the car. Now he's out of the car, let's hear for Harold Reeker from Roseville. Well, congratulations, Harold. Great run. I know you started out this year coming to Stockton, and I know you're uh, friends with the Bolettos. You ran up there at Anderson, so you came down here to uh, run this division. I know the second week out, you uh, had to replace the front clip from a mishap, and uh, boy, you definitely got her dialed in the fourth week. Yeah, the Bolettos are great guys. They've really helped me out. Uh, I'm getting used to driving a full body car, coming from a modified, getting used to the weight and uh, less horsepower. So they've helped me out a lot. Well, tonight you were a fast qualifier, broke the track record, and won the main. What's for next week? I hope we broke the bad luck streak from the uh, first couple weeks. Looks good so far. Well, great. Um, I know opening day you came out and uh, ran a Grand Am as well, and then on Sunday uh, ran your Western Late Model. Are you going to uh, run a full season with this uh, Western Late Model division? Yeah, we're going to see how the first six go, and uh, so far it's turned around, and we'll be here a little while longer. Well, great. Congratulations. And uh, the fans want to uh, meet you. You can uh, go down to the beautiful Renegade trailer with the uh, number 12 on the side and uh, be uh, glad to meet you and uh, get your autograph. Thank you very much for a great win. Thank you. moment here let's just tell you who's out there for tonight's pure stock main event starting on the pole got his work cut out for him he's from Stockton that's Ken the Rat Radcliffe in the number nine car she's from Lodi she's brought to you by Charlie's Performance Machine and Tracy Johnson's Auto Graphics Car Works and special thanks to Jerry and Lodi that's Cindy Freitas. In the number 67 car from Stockton, brought to you by Beck Holmes, that's Johnny Bird. And the number 97 car, he's from Manteca. That's where Ron Stramiska Jr. is from, you know. He won tonight's Featherlight Southwest main event still kind of jazzed up about that from Manteca in the 97 car brought to you by Economy Signs A&A Rossi Hay Service mom and dad Don Tuggle and Mitch Frisk that's Danny Gabor in the number 21 car he's brought to you by Bolin Builders that's Tom Bolin And tonight in the number 22 car, kind of a surprise to us, but he's out there and we're glad he is. Hey, that's Ron McCall. In the number three car from Antica, brought to you by Burns Towing, Economy Muffler, 
competition landscaping and Osborne muffler. That's Stephen Hall. In the number 37 car, he's from Stockton. Brought to you by Walgreens, Chuck's Restaurant, and High Speed Transmission, that's Joey Stearns. In the number 75 car, he won last week's main event in this division. He's brought to you by Mom and Dad, Sherry, Internet Auto Sales, and special thanks to Gina, his loving wife. That's Chad Holman. In the number one car, he's from Lodi, brought to you by Transmissions by Hal, Mom and Dad, Went construction and special thanks to Grandpa, last year's Rookie of the Year, Michael Went. In the 15 car, he's from Modesto. He's brought to you by Clawson Trucking, United Rentals, Mitchell Muffler. Special thanks to Tim Cheney, Jim Schmidt's Trucking, AB Truck Repair. That's Charlie Clawson. In the 64. The 64 Pure Stock, he's from Salida. He's brought to you by Salado, Salida Auto Dismantlers. Bamboo's Engine Supply, Transmissions by Steve, ABC Radiator, Mike's Towing, Traveling Toys of Tracy, Johnson's Auto Graphics, J and J Motorsports. J, or Jeff Saunders is the one, like I said, gonna supply all the cars out here for the monster truck race when they smash and deliberately tear them up. And he thanks all of you fans for coming out tonight from Salida in the 64 car. That's Jeff Saunders. In the number six car, he's from Galt. Brought to you by Premier Drywall and JM Seal Coat and Paving. That's Big Daddy John Medina. In the number five car from Stockton. Brought to you by The Graduate, JB Body Shop, Team Muffler Racing, T.C. Baskin, Stelling, and Stockton. That's Romp and Rich Harper. And this time around, starter Chris says it's time. Let's give them the wave and the nod, send them on their way. For a 30-lap main event, that's the Pure Stocks of 99 Speedway. Come on, folks, let's let them know we're up here. We're not that tired yet. In the 87 car, from Stockton, brought to you by Dana's Place. Special thanks to Mom and Angie. That's Michael Matthews. In the 68 car, from Stockton, brought to you by Beck Holmes. That's Ray Bird. And early on in this event, 64 car Jeff Saunders looks like he got his bumper rearranged. Yeah, he's plowing a little dirt on the back stretch infield there. in there now where's the big dude big dude always gets to jump up and down on the body parts and make them come off see if they have a big dude on their crew
Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. Cindy Freed is out front in the number nine car. Joey Stearns parks his number 37 blue race car up in turn two, bringing out a caution flag. On lap number five. Now they're going to go down on the floorboard there with that long skinny pedal on the right hand side. When they come off of turn four, they're going to jam it as hard as they can to that floorboard. And we're going to see what happens. How about it? Are you ready, Stockton? Here they come, the Pure Stocks. Is that the 22 car that I see perched high atop turn four? It must be. That's Ron McCall. 22 car normally driven by Big Jim Llewellyn. Not here tonight.
Well, it looks like we've got a new leader. Uh, second time I recall having a new leader from Manteca. And the 97 car, Danny Gabor. It was the 97 car, if I recollect right, against the 75 car, Chad Holman, battling it out to the bitter end. Well, it was a sweet victory for the winner. Of course, it's always not too good for the loser. But at any rate, we're going to go racing and check it out. And the Rat Ratcliffe is up against the fence between turns one and two. Yellow flashy blinking lights are on all over the place. Talk about this when the car was out there, when Barry Mitchell's car was out there, and I didn't, and it's my fault. But happy birthday to Doug Schaefer, longtime supporter of this racetrack, along with the whole Schaefer family. Happy birthday, Doug. Contact on a back stretch with Charlie Clausen in the 76 car. As we wind down this main event, I want to remind you that there's french fries at the concession stand for half price. Get a little snack for the way home. John Rose on the back stretch, just a little bit out of shape, gathers it up, motors on down the speedway. Chad Holman and Michael went battle it out. Drag racing down the back stretch into turn three. Who's gonna come out of this ahead? Chad Holman, Michael went both spin the race cars. Chad Holman sitting in a very bad spot. Well, a strange turn of events. Chad Holman and Michael Wimp, both spinning in turns four. Brings out a caution on lap 25, about five to go. First
stay close enough. Tom Bowman wants some of that 97 car. it again he wins another main event that's Danny Gabor and followed with a close second in the 21 car Tom Bowen in third position the number three car from Antica Stephen Hall and in fourth place doing a fine job tonight from Lodi the number nine car that's Cindy Freitas fans once again our racing has come to an end however take a week off and come back and see us on the 11th when we bring you the 100 lap special 100 lap western excuse me wild west shootout with the srl late model sportsman on may 11th along with the hotwood western late models grand american modifieds and pure stocks back here on the 11th want to remind you to drive safely arrive alive the life you save might be your own and do buckle up.